Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca Ravenbird and today I'm going to be showing you my training routine. I'm going to be doing two things in this video. First of all, I'm going to be showing you uh, one of my training routines. I actually have two different ways that I like to train my horses. And as you can see, I am very close to finishing my training with Vanilla Bean. So we're going to finish training Vanilla Bean and then we're going to get a new horse as a reward and to also continue to show you the rest of my training routine. All right, so for the training routine, this is my first method and this is what I like to call the home stable method. Um, basically, I am just going to ride um, all the races that are closest to my home stable and then I will circulate all throughout the map going farther and farther away from my home stable. So basically I'm going to put a picture of my training routine uh, using the star stable map on the screen right now so you can kind of see the different pathways that I take in order to get to all of these different race locations. So I do want to mention that yes I actually do like training. Um, I usually listen to my Spotify playlist as I train and I it's really fun to watch, you know, the horse get better and like actually seeing the little level bar go up. And I do actually try to do all of the races in the game because I don't know, I'm just kind of paranoid like that. I like to like actually check off every single race that is on the log. So one tip that I have about doing my training routine is that I only train on the weekends. So the reason I like to train on the weekends is so that I can focus on other quests and club events that are going on throughout the week. And then on the weekend, I can train my horse as much as I can within those two days on Saturday and Sunday. Another reason for doing weekend training is because it makes it so that training has to last longer and that way I can save up some star coins from the weekly allowances. It makes it so that I have to wait longer in order to get a new horse. Yeah, I think it's a good way to like sort of pace myself with training my horses. As we head up to Nilmer's Highland, which is the next location for races, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what's going to happen in this video. So later on, I am actually going to bring one of my club members into the video. Her name is Hadley Puppyheart and she is really nice and she really loves being engaged with the club activities that we have so she will make her debut appearance on my channel today another thing I'd like to point out quickly is I got a new microphone so I am using the Fifine T669 uh, USB microphone and I got it I think last week or so and it came in really good time I needed this microphone for school basically because I'm going to be a teacher in real life and it's important to have really good audio as well as good visuals. So I decided that it was worth my $70 to buy a new microphone. So hopefully you all can hear a difference in the audio quality today. Let me know if you like the way this microphone sounds and if I should make any adjustments. But I guess here's like a tip for anybody who is also gonna be pursuing like Star Stable videos. Upgrade your audio before you upgrade like your video because most video recorders and most cameras on your computer should do okay as long as your computer is strong enough it's fast enough in terms of like ram i think but the audio is something that is pretty important as well as the video what i was using before basically i was using the audio input capture on obs studio before this and i was also recording audio externally from my cell phone and what I would do is when I went to edit my video, I would take the audio that I recorded on my cell phone and then line it up with the audio that I recorded from OBS Studio. And the audio quality on my cell phone was a lot better than what I would get from OBS Studio because I would just be plugging in my headphones and there is a microphone on my headphones. So I would just be using that. It worked but it just wasn't that great. So that's why I decided to use my cell phone for audio because it was just, you know, that much better. And then I would adjust it a little bit when I actually, you know, edited it. Alrighty, so now, as you can see, we have successfully trained Vanilla Bean up to level 15. So in this next clip, you're gonna see me meet up with my friend and we're gonna head over to Dundle because we're gonna get the new horse that I planned on for this video. And I'll tell you a little bit on how I decided to get this particular horse. Alrighty, everybody. So here I am with my friend Hadley Puppyheart. She just said hello to the camera. And uh, we, this is Diamond Twilight, by the way, that is her horse's name. So we're gonna head over to Dundle because that is where 
where the horse that I'm gonna get today is located. So Hadley, otherwise known as Ava, she actually has to travel to Starshine Ranch and then ride over here manually because she doesn't have the trailer yet to Dundle. But in the meantime, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I selected this horse. So basically, I was inspired by just another pixel on YouTube to use a wheel spinner to pick the horses. Now there's only a certain amount of horses that I like on this game, so I basically put in the different breeds of the horses and then I let the spinner decide what breed I was going to get and then of that breed what color I was going to get. So I basically spun the wheel twice already and for the horse that I'm actually going to get it is the Liver Chestnut Yorvik Warmblood so let's head on over there right now. Alrighty so here we are in Dundle. We're gonna get the Liver Chestnut Yorvik Warmblood. I don't know if I'm gonna get the main braids for this horse but at least for sure we're gonna uh, start training this horse today. So let's go ahead and buy the horse. Now I already have a name picked out for this horse. This horse is going to be named Ginger Snap. So Ginger Snap it is and Ginger Snap is going to be a female horse. Uh, I, that's I guess the sex that I've assigned this horse. So we're gonna go grab this horse really quickly, tack up, and we're gonna go to Fort Pinta to start training this horse. Alrighty, so I'm lazy. I don't really wanna find another outfit. So we're just gonna take this outfit from Vanilla Bean here and use it with uh, Ginger Snap. And plus this is a full stat outfit anyway, so it'll make Ginger Snap you know, faster because Ginger Snap is going to be very slow as a level one horse. Let's see, Ginger Snap is right over here. I'm going to move Ginger Snap's stall to this one over here, but for right now, hello, hello. Let's see, we have to, of course, give our brand new horse a pat. There we go. Oh, I really like the face that she makes. All right, so let's tack up here and head on over to Fort Pinta. So one quick note about the Yorvik Warmbloods, like I think their colors are great. Uh, the thing is about them, it's like the canter, their legs, it's their back legs that look really weird. It's when, it's like when they walk, like do you see how much of this whole, it, it just moves, I don't know how to describe it. It moves a little too much. So it looks like the whole leg is like, moving all at once. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I just don't like the way their back legs look. But like, other than that, I think they look fine. Plus, basically, there's the same model as the starter horses, so. So I have two races right now that are available available in Fort Pinta, but uh, Ava does not, so I'm gonna try to, you know, get these races done as soon as I can, so that way she's not waiting. So I'm not gonna go through my whole routine today. Uh, I'm only gonna show you a part of it, and then I'm gonna leave a picture of the map that I made with the training route that I have um, in the video, and maybe I'll make some sort of link in the description. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you just a basic part of it. But along the way, I'm gonna talk a little bit about racing and doing training in general. So overall, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I do like training. Of course, there are some races that I just do not like. Um, but for the most part, I think training is pretty enjoyable. Um, I like running around and looking at the scenery, and I like trying to beat my high scores. I don't know if this is still happening for anybody, but the the times, like, you know how you can, uh, when you finish a race, you see if you beat your final score or what your highest score was and the time limit or whatever, yeah, that's still glitching out for me. I don't know if it's happening for anybody else, but it makes it hard to see what my scores were. I mean, when it was working, I, I like to do it. But yeah, I also like to do training and races to experiment with different shortcuts and things like that. So I try to see where I can cut corners and where I can uh, speed up my times as much as possible. Alrighty, as we finish up this race here, I think Ava is right here. Yeah, so she might be waiting for me to start the second race over here so we're gonna quickly finish up with Ricky here and we are going to head on over to Syndra to start our second race oh no I guess she finished the race and she just ended here okay don't crash ah oh. see jumping over that sometimes that's hit or miss I don't ever know if I'm able to like make that and not die or crash Sometimes I'm able to get it, sometimes I'm not. So that's what I mentioned earlier about experimenting with the different races and trying to see what shortcuts you can do. Because if you jump down a hill, it's going to be faster than if you just run down it. But yeah, as you can see, sometimes that particular uh, jump right there is hit or miss. Okay, so now we're playing catch up to Ava. She passed us. Now, here's the thing. She is on a level 15 horse, but she's not 
uh, she doesn't have max stats and she's lower level than me but i am using max stat items and i'm using a lower level horse so we kind of cancel each other out i should be able to catch up to her eventually your player level yep there she is right there your player level your tack the horse's level and the um, horse's happiness all affect your speed. So especially if you're going to be doing championships, you want to make sure that you're optimizing all of those four features uh, that I just mentioned. The tack, happiness, your clothes, and your horse level. Honestly, I love Steve's race. It's just, I don't, I don't know, it's so nice. It's really easy to navigate. And here's a shortcut right here. You can go over this truck. You have to time it just right. You have to jump kind of later than you think. Otherwise, you're just going to like jump into it and hit it. Another thing that I should mention about training and doing these races is that you do not want to pick up any of the flowers that you see along the way. Um, I don't know if this bug has been fixed or not, but basically, if you were to pick up any flowers along the way during your race, the it wouldn't give you any XP at the end of it. And it would kind of just cancel out. It would basically say that like you didn't complete the race and you don't get your XP, basically. So... Do not pick up any flowers along the way because that will basically waste your time and uh, you will lose out on XP. And that also applies to druid training because you have the regular training but you also have the missions as well. So you have to be careful. Do not pick up anything and really focus on your race or your mission. Alright, so heading over to Will's Mill. And passing over here, I do want the Black Lusitano at some point. There is an achievement that you can get with this race. Basically, uh, you cannot jump. At any point in this race, you get a little reward for that in your journal. So, yeah, that's a little tidbit about this race. No, no, no. Uh, okay, these... Uh, I hate these wooden, like, wall things. All right, the next place that I like to go is Marley's. And this is sometimes fun if you can make it down this hill. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like going down that hill and trying to see if I survive. Okay, I kind of suck at this. Like, I'm supposed to be waiting for Ava to come, but, like, I just keep going. So, the next race, I'm going to wait for her that we, we can start at the same time. Oh, another thing that I should add, sometimes it's helpful if you jump like right before the last checkpoint because that can put you closer to like whoever's like hosting the race, it'll put you closer to them. That way you don't have to like walk so far to like click on them and get your reward. Okay, now I can start now that I saw her uh, a horse show up. All right, so we're actually gonna head over to the Baroness's racetrack um, because that's a little bit off to the side here and kind of out of the way. So I like to get this one done because what happens is, like, I finish this race and then I go up to the observatory race. I don't think Ava has that race yet, but we're gonna skip that one for now. So yeah, I would basically do the racetrack and then I would go to the observatory and then I would come back all the way from the racetrack to the manor. That way I can uh, talk to the Baroness, get my reward, and then go down to the riding arena and do the show jumping courses. I really hope at some point they update this, this kind of area here. It'd be nice to have sort of a legitimate racetrack because we have the updated English thoroughbreds and I think like a, a race dedicated to them knowing that they're like one of the fastest horses in real life not necessarily in the game it would be cool to see sort of that aspect all right so like I said we're gonna skip the observatory race because I'm pretty sure Ava does not have that yet uh, we're gonna pick up this flax right here and we're gonna go to uh, we're actually gonna go to- oh my gosh, I'm gonna crash. We're actually gonna go down to the riding arena. Normally what I would do is I would actually do the garden race that's down here uh, in the vineyard, but considering I'm pretty sure that she doesn't have the garden race either, we're just gonna go straight to the riding arena. Here's a fun fact. I used to think that the only way to get to the riding arena was this, like, in between this gate here, and then I realized that there's a whole, like, hill over there the uh what is it called oh the, the ride house path yeah so basically connecting the vineyard to the uh the riding arena here so i i didn't realize that this hill was connected okay so here's another tip that i want to talk about this is a really great race to talk about this but this is called the x trick basically what you want to do is you want to hit x while you're still in the air and that will help make your turns tighter because what happens is, as you uh, noticed probably a minute ago, the horse will slow down temporarily and then they will go back up to uh, galloping speed. And this helps a lot with tight turns like this. So right here is a good place. That's the X trick there. 
X trick again. Yeah, it's better to do the X trick while you're still in the air, that way you don't risk crashing, or yeah, doing that crash animation that the horses usually do. So I think this race is another good example of doing the X trick like right here. And doing the X trick, yes, it does slow you down, but it does save a little bit of like overall time because normally you would have had to take wider turns to make these tight turns. Um, but yeah, I guess it's sort of a compromise that you make when you use the X trick. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we're gonna do a wheel spin at the end of this video so that I can see what my next horse is going to be after I finish training Ginger Snap. So yeah, the, definitely the X trick is really useful in this particular race because of these first uh, three jumps right here, super, super tight. I guess I should also point out too, this particular method of training my horses, every race is within like, two minutes, three minutes of riding distance versus if I took the trailer, I'd have to sit there for a little while. Doing this, I can just ride there. I think I can ride there like faster than I would be able to if I just took the trailer. No, oh my gosh. Okay, where's the cancel button? I need to cancel. Oh my gosh, I need to restart this race because oh, I messed up. Oh, that's not a good place to mess up. Oh my God, go, 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 please go. Oh my God, oh my God, we're gonna fail. Okay, I don't know what happened here. There's supposed to be a cancel button and a restart button right here. This is a restart and here's the cancel button, I think. Where is it? Oh my gosh, that's not good. And I didn't know that Ava didn't have the uh, races available to her. So we're gonna finish these here. And I think we might have to actually finish the video a little bit early, but along the way, I'm gonna tell you uh, a little bit more about this route because basically Golden Leaf Forest is the ending point for this half of the route and then I start using the trailer for the other parts of the training route. So basically I would do this race and then Jasper's race in reverse. Then I would go down the hill uh, this way to do the Golden Leaf Forest race. And then after that I would do all four of the races with Ewa down at Golden Leaf Stables. Here's one last example of where the X trick comes in really handy right here because that has a super tight turn. And uh, as you can see, I navigated that pretty well. All right, so we successfully got Ginger Snap up to level four today, and we got to bond a little bit with Ava here. She's saying bye to us. It was really nice training with her, and I'm glad she got to be a part of this video. In my next video, I'm going to be talking more about my second method for training. If you would like to see that video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and tell me what your training routine looks like down in the comment section below. All right, with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Alrighty, everybody. So I kind of filmed the outro before I finished this part of the video. So this is the part of the video where I pick out the next horse that I'm going to train after I finish training Ginger Snap. So basically I'm going to spin for the breed and then whatever breed I land on, I'm gonna spin for the color. So these are the only breeds that I like really like in the game. Some of the other breeds are cool, but these are the ones that I really like the most. So with that being said, let's spin for the breed. Right. Oh, and illusion, and illusion, and illusion. Fjord. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to land on the end illusion, but we are going to get a fjord. Now, I love pretty much every color of fjord that is in the game, and they do have very specific names. Uh, that I think the names are in Norwegian, uh, since that's where they are from. So we're going to input the different color names, and then we're going to spin for the color of fjord that I want. All right, so here's the thing about the different colors for the fjords. I believe this is the one that's in the Foles app, and I don't have the Foles app on my phone. I've never used that app before, and um, I kind of hope I don't get this horse because uh, I don't really want to install an app. I would rather get one of these uh, other colors because they're in game and I don't have to worry about like uh, opening another app basically. Yeah, let's spin for the color and uh, cross my fingers for not this color, which I don't know how to pronounce it by the way. I don't know how to pronounce any of these colors uh, with the proper pronunciation, but these are the colors at least that I found online of what the standard Fjord colors are. So yeah, let's just spin it. Come on, not all black, something in game. No, 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 no. Okay. Alrighty. So we are going to get the dark gras fjord, and I'm going to put a picture of what that particular fjord looks like on screen right now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, we are going to be getting a dark gras fjord as my next horse after I complete the training for Ginger Snap.